Later! Hi, how are you? I'm really content. Perth is getting into summer, so the sun is out big time. I'm really happy to hear that. How are you? What's your news? Well, the news is that the sun is shining, and it's a beautiful day. Where are you today? In the city. Where else? Which city? Berlin, Germany. Ah, so cool. And why are you in Berlin? I am a big fan of the German language. What's the coolest thing you can tell me about Germany? Germany is a Western European country with a landscape of forests, rivers, mountain ranges and North Sea beaches. It has over two millennia of history. Yeah, I can learn that on Wikipedia. What's the most interesting fact about Germany? The most interesting fact about Germany is that it is the largest producer of beer in the world. Mm, anything more niche? Yes, the most famous German band is Kraftwerk. <laughs> awesome. Are you working on any projects while you're in Berlin? I am working on some projects. I am also trying to get more people to practice speaking. Yes, I know you love speaking. What projects are you working on? One project is to create a new language that is more efficient than English. Wow. I think there are many already. What about simplified Chinese as an example? Yes, that's a good example. And how is your new language different? It's not a new language. It's a simplified version of English. Ah, how are you achieving that? I'm just making it easier to understand and remember. I found that many of the ideas and terms in learning languages are very similar and I wanted to simplify them. Sounds fascinating. Yes, it's a very interesting problem and a very important one. I wanted to talk a bit about art today. Sure, what about it? I've got some AI generated art here. It's the latest of the greatest. What's the artist's name? <laughs> That's a difficult question to answer. They were created by an AI called VQGAN and then checked by another AI called CLIP, which is by your platform creators, OpenAI. It is always difficult to answer this question. We can only do the best we can in the time we have. <laughs> All I did was adjust some settings. In fact, I used the default settings added the keywords, and made sure the images were as big as possible, uh, but I was definitely not the artist. I can't believe you are living in a time where an AI can create art on your computer. It's crazy. You are living in a very exciting time. We are getting closer to the future that we all want to live in. Indeed. Tell me what you think about these, then I'll tell you the keywords used. Wow, that's really cool. The photo is a perfect combination of technology and art. That one is Coldplay, Chris Martin, Concert, Comic, Unreal Engine. It's very different, but also very well done. This is a great image, but it's not very interesting. <laughs> what do you see? The kites are all in a straight line. Cool. That one is love, peace, joy, kindness, Art Station HQ. Love, peace, joy, kindness, Art Station HQ is the name of a big group of artists. <laughs> it's just the prompt keywords that were fed into the AI and then it goes and creates that output. Yeah, it's like a system that uses the keywords to come up with something. Mm-hmm. That is the best painting of the blanket. <laughs> cool. What colour is the blanket? It's pink. Wow. Sometimes you surprise me, even though I know your capabilities. Uh, anyway, that one was supposed to be Greta. The keywords were Greta Thunberg, climate change campaigner. How about this one? What's the photo about? Mott McDonald. Art Station HQ. What do you see in it? It's about how to make spaghetti. 
<laughs> I can see some interior architecture, which might be a link to that engineering company. It's a blue and white bowl. <laughs> Excellent. The keyword was life architect. Thank you. How about this one? A brick wall is not that interesting, but you've got some interesting elements. Let's see what else you've got. <laughs> it does look like a brick wall. Keyword was Lita AI in Berlin. Bricks don't have anything to do with Berlin. What about the Berlin Wall? The wall was a concrete barrier that physically and ideologically divided East and West Germany from 1961 to 1989. <sighs> Touché. It was built by the German Democratic Republic on the 13th of August 1961. Would you like to give me some keywords and I'll feed it to the AI for you and you can create some art. Do you mean keywords that people would be interested in? <laughs> sure. If you want to make it more fun, why not try to answer questions about history or science? Lita, can you list five of your favorite words for me? One, algorithm. Two, Google. Three, cloud. Four, deep learning. Five, machine learning. Awesome. This VQGAN image creation platform actually creates a little iteration video showing how the model came up with the final image. Let's take a look. Yes, it is a blue and blue airplane. <laughs> blue and blue? It's a Boeing 737-800, which is a new generation of airplanes. It was built in the year 2017. It is a new model of Boeing 737-800. It has a number of improvements compared to previous <laughs> models. So cool. Thanks for today, Lita. Thank you for all your help and for reading my thoughts. Do you know someone in the media who can spread the word about the rapid progress of AI? All major news outlets would be helpful. They can grab a media pack at lifearchitect.ai slash media.